Well, hello, guys. Welcome to this class. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Nelson Alnay Ramirez, and uh, I am going to be with you during the rest of this module, okay? So um, you can call me Nelson or Mr. Ramirez, whatever you want. So um, it is the time for us to start the class. So it's really nice to see you. Uh, I do not know you, but we are going to get to know together during the during this module. Okay, so uh, we're going to start, guys, because we just have one hour, and I hope we can learn as much as possible. If at any moment, guys, you don't understand what I'm saying, or if there's something, or if you feel that I'm talking that fast or something like that, please let me know. So I will try to calm down, or I will try to repeat that or I will try to explain you or something like that. So if you feel that you are not understanding, feel free to ask me, feel free to tell me, okay, teacher, I didn't understand what you were saying or something like that. So I can, I can help you with that, okay? So once again, welcome to this class, guys. I'm so happy to see you here. And I don't know how many students are going to be in this module, but I hope every one of you is already connected. So, let's see. Just give me a moment, guys. I'm trying to connect. Okay. Okay, guys, once again, if you don't understand something or is there something that you're not understanding, please let me know. So I'm, I will try to help you with that. Or if you have any doubt regarding to the topic that we're going to see, it will be my pleasure to help you, okay? So uh, we're gonna try to start with the class that we have for today. And today we will see something uh, about the simple present. I'm very sure that most of you already know a little bit about it. So I will try to explain you. Once again, if you don't understand, let me know. Or if you have questions, let me know. Or, well, let me ask you, can you hear me clearly? Yes? Of course, okay, thank you. And also thank you so much for turning your cameras on. That's something very good so I can get to know you. Thank you, I can see Sergio, I can see Elias, I can see Claudia, Anna, Brenda, Elena, Elizabeth, and Elvis as well. Thank you so much for that, guys. So um, as I was telling you today, we have the simple present and it is, see, let me share the presentation with you. Uh, this is a presentation we have. So today is gonna be the simple present tense. I know that some of you already know a little bit about this. It's going to be kind of a review, but we will try to discover a lot of things, some rules or some exceptions that you need to remember when it comes to the simple present. And uh, once again, guys, if I am talking too fast or if you don't understand what I'm saying, please let me know. So I will try to explain you that, okay? Okay. So perfect. So we are going to start with the way that we need to create or how do we create a positive and negative sentences in the simple present. It's very simple, guys, but sometimes we can get confused when it comes to the third person. So let me explain you right here. When we have the positive sentences, we can use any of the, of the personal pronouns that we have in English. We have I, do, we, they, he, she, it. What is the third person? Third person, it is he, she, and it. So it is very simple. In the simple present, we just have to follow the same, the following structure. 
participle, the object or the personal pronoun, a verb, and a complement. That's it. The negative form. In the negative form, we are going to use the auxiliary don't. So let's see, first of all, an example in a positive sentence. I like cheese. We like cheese. You like cheese. They like cheese. Let's go ahead and see right now with the third person. He, she, and it. And this part, it changes a little bit when we have a positive sentence. But we are going to learn that later on, so I will explain you all the details so you can understand. Right now, this is just kind of general information. So for you to get to know about the simple present. So when we have the positive in the third person, we say, he likes, we modify the verb, as you can see right here. We add a letter S to the verb, but this only happens in the third person. Now with I, do we, they, we are going to never ever going to change the verb. We're going to modify the verb only in the third person, okay? So we can say, he likes cheese. Another thing, guys, is very important, the pronunciation of the letter S on the third person. So you got to be careful with the pronunciation so you, we can understand that, that you're using, at this point, the simple present. So you say, he likes cheese. She likes cheese. It likes cheese. All right? So as you can see here, when we are talking about the third person, the auxiliary that we are going to use is doesn't. So with I, do, we, they, we use don't. And with he, she, and it, we use doesn't. Or this is the contraction, guys. Doesn't and don't. This is the contraction. But if we do not want to use a contraction, we can say, they do not like cheese. Or I can say, it does not like cheese. Are you following me, guys? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes, sure. All right, very good. So do you have any question at this moment? Is there any question or something that you would like to know? All right. No. So if it is clear, so we are going to move forward. So here we have a brief explanation or a brief meaning about the simple present. It says, guys, that we are going to use the simple present to talk about things that we do all the time. And obviously, things that we do or that we are doing or that we do in the present. So for example, we have some examples right there. So I will need um, any volunteer that would like to help me with the first example. Is there any volunteer? Yeah. Who? Tell me your name. Uh. Anna. Anna, Anna Lopez. Okay, thank you. Can you please tell me with example number one? Um, but no sé si entendí bien, pero por ejemplo, for example, um, he, no, I mean, she done. Oh. You, you can just help me reading the examples that we have on the screen. Oh. Ayudarme solo I, con el ejemplo número uno que está en la pantalla. Hello. Yes. I get. Read it. Okay. Yes. I get the service bus at seven every morning. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So as you can see, we were talking that in the simple present, we 
use it for things that we do all the time. And obviously, every day in the morning, you take the bus. Unless you have a, your car, if you have a car, you take your car, right? But if you do not have a car, you use this, the, you get the service bus. Yes, so uh, let me see. Any other volunteer to help me with the example number two? Right here, this one right here. Yo, teacher. What's your name? Uh, Lisette Montoya. Lisette Montoya, thank you so much. Can you please read it? Uh, John brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. Very good. John brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. As you can see here, does any of you know why we modify here brush? Do you know why we modify brush? Estamos hablando de John. ¿Por qué lo modificamos? Why do we modify that? Uh, third person. Third person. Okay, very good. So, uh, Example number three, can someone help me to read it? Shayla, okay. I, I see your, that you raise your hand. Uh, I play football at break time. Very good, thank you so much. And the last example. My sister goes sailing on weekends. Very good. That's a really nice pronunciation, sir. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. All right. Thank so, you, as you can see here in this presentation, it says, once again, that we use a simple present for habits. Things that we do all the time. Yes? So, like taking the bus, like brushing your teeth, like play football, like go selling. Go selling is not the things that we do all the time, but it depends on what you do, right? Because we all do different things in the, our daily basis. Every one of us does a different activity. So probably in these examples that we have right here, that person goes selling on weekends. So, selling on weekends. So uh, things, guys, that you will always have to remember or things that are always true is that another characteristic that we have about the simple present is that we oh, use it you. to talk about oh, things that are always true. Cosas que siempre son verdad, right? Mm -hmm. For example, the sky is blue. El cielo es azul, right? The sky is blue. It's sometimes in the evening that, that gets with a different colors, but we know for a fact that most of the time the sky is blue, right? So number two, the earth goes around the sun. We all know that that's for a fact or thing that is completely true, that the earth goes around the sun, right? So number, number three, I am a student. That's also true because you are a student. So once again, this is just for you to remember. Another, Teacher, yes, go ahead, sir. Uh, I, I, I don't know, but I think the, here uh, the earth goes around the sun. It's, it's around the sun oh yeah that that's a fingers mistake right there thank you so much for noticing that it's with a letter with the letter a at the beginning that was my my okay. bad my mistake but thank you so much for noticing that so it is the earth goes around the sun no round okay but thank you so much for that okay. so okay, um, once again guys the first characteristic was the simple present, we can use it when we want to talk about activities or things that we do all the time. Number two, things that are always true, okay? 
this is the second characteristic that we have. So if there is no question, so I will move forward. And here, I need you to pay attention, guys. Please pay attention to these rules. Once again, if you have a question, tell me, teacher, I have a question. I don't understand this. I don't understand that. Can you explain me? Please do that, guys, because I want you to understand this part. And this part, we are going to talk about the changes that we do with the third person. For example, number one, it says with the verbs that ends in CH, S, SH, O, X, we are going to add a letter ES at the end of the verb. But remember, this is only for the third person, right? And what is the third person? He, she, and it, all right? So keep this in mind. So for example, we have the verb watch. The verb watch ends on CH, termina en CH, right? So we have to add ES at the end of the verb. Why? When we talk about the third person. So we are going to say watches, watch, watches. Number two, this verb ends with the letter S, guess. So we're going to say guesses, guesses. Number three, finish, finishes, go, goes, fix, fixes. Once again, these changes, we are going to do it only, guys, with the third person, he, she, it. This is the first rule. Let's see what happened with the, with the second one. The second one, it says that when we have a verb that ends in the letter Y, we have to, uh, to change the letter Y to a letter E, I'm sorry, to a letter I, and we have to add ES. Are you understanding what I'm saying, guys? Yes? Yes. Yes. Perfect. But you got to be careful with this. Why? Because there's some exceptions. There's some verbs such as, let me show you right really quick. For example, what about this verb? How would you change it, guys? Would it be okay Clean. if I say it like this? Let me see. Will, it, will that be okay? No? No. Why not? No, no. Because he needs the, the why. Only, only S. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Why? Because this is an exception. Even though we know that it ends with the letter Y, and we know that the rule says, we change the letter Y to a letter I and we add ES. But in this verb, this is an exception. Why? Because when we have a vowel before the letter Y, we are not going to change the letter Y. We will still use the letter Y. But here in the example, as you can see the verb study, before the letter Y, we do not have a vowel. We have a consonant. So when we have a consonant, we are going to modify it, right? We see study, S-T-U-D-Y. Here we have a consonant. And in this one, we have a vowel before. So that's why the rule does not apply to this verb. Are you understanding me, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. 
So keep that in mind because that will help you not to get confused. All right. So let's let's move on. Remember these two rules, okay? So let me see. Very good. So let's move on. Let's move on. Let me see. I will choose someone of you randomly because we are 28 at this moment. So let me see, Miss Elizabeth, Elizabeth C. That's the name that I can see, Elizabeth C. Hello. Hello. Can you tell me or can you find the mistake in the first? Mm. I don't understand. No, in number two, because we haven't seen yet the questions. In number two, and this one right here, is there a mistake? What is the mistake that you can see right there? In number two, this one. Is there a mistake? Likes. What is the mistake? No entiendo, teacher. ¿Qué me quiere decir? ¿Cuál es el error? What is the mistake? Ah, eh, likes eh, no tiene que llevar eso porque eh, soy yo, no es tercera persona. All right, perfect. Mr. Uh, Sergio, can you please tell me what's the problem with number three? Uh, she's, it should be said she's, though her, Homework on the service bus. So what's what's the mistake right there? Uh, uh, because uh, I think it's need a, a S. A letter S. So yeah. it will be something like. She's something like don't. No, no, no. Like this? Oh, like this? Yeah. Those. Like does. this. She does. She does. So exactly. So the mistake right there yes. is she does. All right. Very good. So let me see. And uh, in the next one, can someone help me? Oh, Lisette Montoya. I see that you're raising your hand. And the film. Yes. Finishes. That one. Uh huh. Finishes. Finishes. So the, the mistake, if we're still missing a letter E, right? Okay, very good. Let me see. Claudia Janet, can you help me with the next one? My friend. What's the mistake right there? Hang off, teacher. Which one? I'm sorry. Hang off is the error. So how would it be? My friend. Go. Go on holiday next week. Very good. Why? Because my friend, it represents the personal pronoun, they, right? Okay, I see uh, Glenda Ramos that you raise your hand. Would you like to help me with the next uh, one? The first sentence is, does oh, okay. he like? Exactly. Yeah, but I didn't ask the other ones because we haven't still, we haven't seen that yet. But thank you so much for that. That's the mistake, that's very good. Can someone, would you like, someone would you like to help me with the, the next one? She carry. She carries. Mm -hmm. okay. The mistake is um, carries the uh, e, e, S. No, so it will be she carries her little dog, her little sister to the car in the morning. Very mm -hmm. good. Let me see. Let me ask another one. Oh, Mr. Mr. Elvis Quintanilla. Hello, sir. Can you help me with the next one? Nicole Kilman. Yes, that one, please. The mistake is in the pair up. The falta la S, no la S. 
Letter S. Very good. Nicole Kidman acts in a lot of films. Very good. Mr. Jose Manuel, the next one. Hello, sir. Hello. Can you help me with the next one? Is there a mistake? There is not. Uh, with play sería este, este, ese es verdad. Is that the mistake? Yeah. Plays. So how would it be? ¿Cómo sería? Sí, play, plays. Se le agrega la e. Plays. Is he right, guys? The other ones? Is that right what he's saying? No, play. no. No. Why? I, think, play. I think it's not, sir. It's not. Okay. It's so play. Why? Play. Play. You have to Without eliminate the S. Yes. Okay, very good. So it will be we play in the garden at break. Very good. And how about the last one? Is there a mistake? There's not. There's not a mistake. Uh -huh. Is there a mistake, guys? <laughs> you need a mess. Our teacher talk very clearly. So it will be like this, or do we add something extra? Talks. Oh, I think talks. Okay. So this one in this word, guys, we do not pronounce no. the letter L. We when we pronounce this verb, we say talk. 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 Our teacher talk very clearly. Okay, so but in this case, it will be our teacher talks with the letter S. And as I told you at the beginning, it's very important that you make the sound of the letter S clearly. Because if not, mm -hmm. if you're not speaking or if you're not pronouncing it well, some American people might not understand what you're saying, okay? So it was very important. Our teacher talks very clearly. So I think that you know a little bit about this, okay? This is just uh, like kind of review. So guys, okay. is there any question at the moment? That's okay. No questions? No question. No if there, teacher. If there's no questions, we will go to the practice and we will see how well did you understand. So if you have a camera or if you are using your phone, try to make a screenshot or in your, if you're using a computer, take a photo of the screen because we are going to go to the breakout rooms. So you can have that information with you, okay? So take a photo or screenshot or something. Yes, so you let me know so I can move to the next one. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Eh, está diciendo que vamos a ir a un break eh, de, de, para dialogar entre nosotros. No, 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 I mean, uh, I mean, there's, there's uh, like an extra tool una parte de Zoom en la que nos podemos ir en grupos a trabajar en esto. Se llama Breakout Rooms. Sí, es que explíquenos algunas cositas en español para que podamos entenderle. Ok, no problem, no problem. Please, please. Ok, no problem. I will try to do Gracias. it. Gracias. Okay? ok, so I was saying, estaba diciendo, take a screenshot. Si están usando tu, su teléfono, una captura de pantalla de lo que vamos a ver, esos ejercicios. O if you're using a computer, take a photo. Why? Because cuando se van a los breakout rooms, ya no puedo seguirles mostrando mi pantalla. So you need to have that in your phones or if you're using a computer, so you can work on that, okay? Lo que hacía el teacher anterior es que nos lo mandaba por mensaje para que nosotros no pudiéramos estar viendo. Okay, but let me see. Let me see if I can do that.
But, but let me ask you, if I send it to you a message, and if I send it to the breakout rooms, will you still be able to see it? Mm, um, en, el, en el chat de, de Zoom lo, lo, lo podría mandar quizás. Yeah, o también I mean, en el de WhatsApp. Yes, we can see it. Yes, we can see it. So if I send you uh, like an image uh, for this screenshot, can you see it on the chat? Like, even though you are in a breakup room? Take. Yes. Okay, yes. I, I, I'm checking, I'm seeing right now that some of your classmates is sending, okay, it's sending the picture through the WhatsApp group. So you are happy there. Can you check the group? So I saw already someone send it. Thank you so much, by the way, I don't know who you are, but thank you so much for that. So uh, with that being said, let me see. Here we have another one, guys. So what I need you to do with this is try to make a sentence with the image that we have there and obviously the verb. So I don't know if you can, let me see, I will try to, to take that picture of that. So what I'm going to do guys for tomorrow, I will send you the presentation or the slides after or before having the class, okay? So when we have the class, you can already have the information with you, okay? So we don't go through this process. But for the moment, I don't know if the same person who did the uh, the, that photo can take a photo and send it to the group. The WhatsApp group is the one, one that we have. I don't know if you're able to do that so I can move to the next one because we have more. Yeah, we'll try to do it as well. This is number three. And those are the ones that we have at the moment. So I already saw that the same person, I guess, sent the photos through the WhatsApp group. Thank you so much for that. And now guys, that you already have the document, well, the photos, we're going to go to the breakout rooms. I will ask you guys, if you can talk to your classmates in English or try to do it with some words, I would appreciate that, okay? Just like try to practice with your classmates. Like if you don't know how to say it in English, okay, do it in Spanish. But if you can say something or participate in English, that will be amazing. So you can practice with your classmates as well, okay? Okay. So uh, we are 27. We were 30, I don't know people is going out. So you ready to create the groups, guys? If you got the link, please go ahead and join your groups. And I will be checking that you're participating and that you're working on that, okay?
el negativo de ese verbo. Es. They don't live in Madrid. Ese sería el primero. Su el segundo, está su... de, o sea, hacer dos oraciones afirmativas. Ahí le dice en qué forma si afirmativo o negativo y le dice el verbo también. Ajá. Y está el she y el sure. No, su, my dad. Su, su, su está en German school. Exacto. My dad, my, my dad drive. 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 Mm -hmm. We do not walk to school. Fifty four bus. Sería entonces. Up here. They don't. Por ejemplo, o también. Sí. They, 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 they no, in Madrid. En esas también así. Perdón, ¿cómo? Eh, sería estas oraciones en, la, en las que están. Entendí que le esperaba que habláramos en, en, en inglés, pero la verdad es que está complicado hablarlo todo en inglés. <risa> ah, lo que se pueda. Sí. Some words. Um, <risa> my dad, ah, aquí está, ¿ves? My dad sí. drives, my Drive. dad drives a red a car. Entonces es... Eh, solo le aquí. agrega S. Ajá, afirmativa. Sí, esa es afirmativa. Afirmativa. Right. Pero como está en tercera persona, le agrega ese al verbo. Sí, correcto. Luego está, we not work to school. Sería... Que igual. Sería negativo. Ajá, negativo. como es negativa, que da igual. Entiendo sí. yo. Luego... Eh, de... pero igual, pero, disculpen, pero igual como, igual eh, quedaría we don't walk, ¿verdad? We don't walk. No, es que esa, esa no lleva do ni das, o sí. Sí, cuando perdida. Porque, pues sí, porque acuérdense que aquí va a llevar el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Esas pues son las negativas, van a llevar el auxiliar. ¿Verdad? Que es el do eh. o el das, de acuerdo a la persona que se va, que, de la que se está hablando. Vea, pienso yo, vea. No, no sé, no sé, hay, según mis anotaciones, no, pero puede que yo ande perdida. ¿Qué opina el resto? Pues yo entiendo que había que completarla así, como ella dice, que sí, sí. ¿Qué es lo que le hace falta. Boys, what's going on? I, do can, I just can see the girls talking, but the boys are so quiet, like, not saying anything. <laughs> oh, we're women. <laughs> women power, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, Jonathan, Jose, and... Elías are so quiet, not saying anything. Jonathan, Elías, ¿qué opinan? Give your opinions, guys, so you can all have the same answer. Don't be shy. I know that is a fair class, but we're going to be together, so get to know each other. Sin miedo al éxito, vea, please. Jonathan, ¿qué opina? No, seguramente tiene problemas, pero eso no nos responde. Sí. Yo en mi caso que... Alguien está compartiendo. Ah, sí, sí. Hola. 
Hola. ¿Qué? No entiendo. ¿Qué? Eh, estoy cogiendo la pantalla para que puedan ver y hacerlo más práctico y para que hable la chica y no esté interrumpiendo la pantalla. Ah, ok. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Es que, ah, Sara. Es que yo pensé que era mi teléfono porque se, se parecía. Lo siento. Eh, este, bueno, la, la cuatro. Eh, ajá, sería... We dos. Pero es que no entiendo. En esa sí sería también el dos, ¿verdad? Dos, no. Pues, no. Walk. Sería el da. Walk. El, o solo. Sobre nosotros. Ajá, sería... We don't. We don't eh, work. Cool. Okay, there's only girls. Happy <laughs> Okay. Eh, not working. So what happened, Claudia? Perdón, es que la 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 cosa me apagó. Perdón, perdón. No problem. So what do you remember? Who were you working with? ¿En quién estabas trabajando, no? Eh, sí, con Elena y no sé con quién otra. Elena, let me, let me look for that name. Elena Martinez, okay, so I see sí. we're number four, so I will send you to you. Okay. Perfect. Okay, gracias. Okay. Uh, uh, Okay. My dad drives a red drives car. A red car. Yeah. Okay. We come back. No. We finish. In la in la cuatro quedaría. We walk. Walks to school. Walks to school. Okay. Well, number five. The thirty uh, four class stops. Number five. Next, number stop. five. Number. Okay. Stop. Go. Go, go, go ahead. Uh, I'm not sure number five, uh, just we have to add S. Yeah, none. Yeah, I think the 34 bus stops here. It stops, yeah. Stops and let's start. With, with, you add S. Stop. Mm -hmm. Number six, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown teach teach math test. Teach math. Math. Number seven, the children play football. Plays football. Plays. Uh, I think eight. I think it's play or place. Place because. Mm. Uh, 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 I don't know. 
Uh, but yeah, because they, in this case, the is they, right? Yeah. Number could eight. Could be play. Could be play, play because you are it's talking about play. they. <laughs> no, place, place. The I children think play. play. Because the children oh. is the the boys and girls. Uh -huh. Good. Very good, guys. They. I like that most of you are talking. They. That's very, very good. Okay. Uh, the number that. eight, Mary uh, washes the dishes. The washes. dishes after lunch. Uh, correct. After lunch. All right. Well, the teacher is, is listening. What do you say, teacher? Well, I, what I heard, there's some, <laughs> there's some mistakes over there, but pay attention to those <laughs> details, okay? I won't say anything. Just pay attention to that. Teacher, I, I want to ask you something. Go ahead. And, and the number one, they, it's not this worse. Sometimes you, you have to say leave another time, another uh, form of life. W what the difference? The difference lives. The difference is, for example, the verb leave, that it, it is spells like L-E-A-V-E. -E. That verb means salir. Aha, uh -huh. leave. leave. And the verb leave, L I B E, that uh -huh. means vivir. vivir. So live, the, like the this, first, like this. Yeah, like this one. The one that we have right here is, it means vivir. Live. Es como decir vivir y viviendo. No. No, no if I say living, living. That, that is viviendo. But in this case, cuando utilizamos the present, yo digo vivo in the present. Right? Yo vivo. Usaríamos el IES vivo. I leave it that with, with you. I live. No, I mean, and this one, and the number one, pay mm -hmm. attention to what it says between parentheses. In parentheses says, not live. Not, not, live. not, not live. Okay. So, how would you how would you do that like negative mm -hmm. they they doesn't live in madrid <laughs> i don't know it won't be does a like they does not or doesn't live in mm -hmm. madrid doesn't live exactly you can i told you guys <laughs> exactly i was yeah. just Listening right. to what you were saying, like in the other ones, didn't say anything, but it's okay. Very good. So you can use a contraction. You can say doesn't or does not. It is or doesn't, doesn't mean, not. Okay. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. But teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Oh, um, if you if you use does the bird does or oh, see does or oh, doesn't does you have to add a s in the bird no in negative we will never modify no. the bird no we are going to okay. modify the bird okay. only in the positives in the positive sense okay well, but not in the negative one. Okay. Okay. I told you guys they doesn't live in Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> it's so.
Twitter ya finalizó. No le escucho. So, did, did you receive the invitation to join the group you were working with? Uh, no entendí. Que si recibiste la, la invitación para que te unieras al grupo que ya estabas? ¿No? Ah, sí. Try to join because we are about to finish. ¿Ya finalizó? No, no yet. Es que me sacó. So I don't know what happened. Let me see. So what happened, Manuel? Hola. What's going on? What happened? Pues ahorita estamos viendo ahí porque eh, ya habían completado las oraciones. Entonces, ¿había que salir o usted nos va a avisar cuando nos sacamos de la sala? Oh, you already finished? Eh, el grupo sí, sí, ya estuvo, digamos. Yo estaba como entendiendo ya lo que se estaban refiriendo ahorita, pero sí ya terminamos y consultamos consultando a ver si había que salirse o nos invitaba usted a salirnos de la reunión. Okay, so, so I will close it right now. So we are going to see who finished it and who did it. So I already closed the group, so everyone will join. Todo el grupo eh, ya había finalizado. ¿no? Ok, cool, perfect. Ok, the ones that are already here, did you complete or did you finish all the exercises, guys? Did you complete them all? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm just waiting for the other ones to join because we still have some people in the groups. Okay. Perfect. So I think that everyone is back, back in the meeting. Yes, I can see it right there. Okay. Very good, guys. Did you complete all the exercises? Yes, right? Okay, so um, I'm going to ask you randomly. So I went to verify if you did it or if you were there just listening to the other ones. And I want to congratulate some of you. While I was checking the groups, I saw that some of you were speaking in English and that some of you were trying to express or to do something or to say something in English. That was very, very good. Jacqueline, I see that you're raising your hand. Yo, este, bueno, para empezar, buenas noches. Me conecté algo tarde, teacher. Okay. Pero sí, eh, la mayoría de lo que dijo, la verdad, la verdad, no le logré comprender como al 100% qué necesitaba yo hacer. All right. Igual okay. en, en, en los grupos que hicimos, eh, sí nos costó como... Como, como darnos a entender entre nosotras qué es lo que cada una había entendido, ¿verdad? Porque, okay. eh, eh, ajá, la verdad que, nos, bueno, al menos yo no sé cómo al 100% poder entenderle, porque siento que, no sé, no le entiendo lo que, lo que dijo, la verdad, todo el, el, el rato que he estado acá, sí me ha costado bastante comprenderlo. Okay, no problem. So I will give you a brief detail right now, a really quick detail so everyone can understand why. Because I also saw some groups that were doing a lot of mistakes. And I was like, like this, oh my God, what are they doing, right? But I just explained that, but I will, I will try to give you a brief explanation right now so everyone get to remember what I just said, okay? Someone asked me a question. I don't know who, who was that, but I remember that this person, 
Alguien me preguntó, teacher, so do we modify the verb in negative? Let me tell you guys that when we have a negative sentence, we do not modify the verb, not even in, in uh, the first person, the second one, or the third one. Algo que quiero que sí se recuerden, guys, que solo vamos a modificar el verbo in third person. That's it. Third person. He, she, and it. Right? The other ones, I, you, we, they, we will never, ever modify the verb. The verb will still be the same. We are only going to modify the verb in the third person following the rules that we already saw. And in the negative, en el negativo, nunca vamos a cambiar el verbo. Nunca lo vamos a modificar, even though we are using the third person. Aunque utilicemos la tercera persona, nunca lo vamos a modificar in negative. So keep that in mind, okay? So, uh, Jacqueline, uh, here we have some, some rules. Some rules, for example, when, when the verb finishes or ends in CH, S, S, H, O, E, X, I'm sorry, you are in the third person. Let me, let me say that again, in the third person. You are going to modify the verb and you will add S. Only when, when the verb ends in those letters, C H S S H. And when the verb ends in the letter Y, you will modify the verb. You will change the letter Y for a letter I, and you will add E S. But there's an exception. ¿Cuál es la excepción, guys? Can someone tell me? What's the exception? Play. 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 ¿Y cómo Play. vamos a saber cuándo uno sí se modifica y cuándo no? Cuando la presido una vocal. Exactly. When we have a vowel, cuando tengamos una vocal antes de la letra Y, we will not modify it. Ahí no lo vamos a modificar. Cuando tengamos una consonante antes de la Y, there we are going to modify the verb. But again, only on the third person, okay? That's only for the third person. Yeah. Teacher, y en el verbo by? En el verbo by, que es comprar, y ahí cómo, cómo queda en la tercera persona? The same. Lo que acabamos de decir, ¿verdad? Ah, si va precedido por una vocal, una vocal ¿verdad? Sí. No, sí. no vamos a well, cambiar la, la I. It's the same example as play. You see, antes de la Y, we have a vowel. And because we have a vowel before the letter Y, we cannot, no podemos cambiar la I, la Y por una I. We cannot. Only when we have a consonant. Cuando tengamos una consonante antes. There, we are going to modify it. Cuando tengamos una consonante, sí. Right? Like study, studies. Carry, carries. Fly, flies. Okay? Keep that in mind, guys, so you don't get confused on that. Okay? And let me see what else. Uh, let me see. Oh, my God. It got it stuck right there. Okay. And that was pretty much it, uh, Jacqueline. That was pretty much it. So are you all kind of clear right now? Is there something that you're not understanding? So uh, what I'm going to do, guys, at the end of this video conference, I will send you this slide through the WhatsApp group so every one of you can have this information in your phones or in your computers, okay? And you can study that at home. Okay. Thank you. All right. So let me see, Mr. Elvis Quintanilla, help me with the uh, number one, please. They doesn't live in Madrid. Very good. Number two, Mr. Elias. Ahí sería de agregarle una I, una E, no, una E y una S. Okay, so tell me the, the whole sentence. 
Read it. Lea, compañero, toda la oración. Mm, su study German at the school. Okay, very good. Again, mm -hmm. guys, I want yeah. to be very clear on this. It's very important that pronunciation <laughs> that that do make that clear. For example, studies, studies, studies. 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 Okay, studies. very good. Studies. Thank you. Uh, yes. Let me see, uh, Glenda Ramos, number three. My dad drives a red car. Can you repeat it again? Because I didn't listen to any, any changes. Any problem? Can you repeat it again, Glenda? Uh, it's okay. Uh, sentence three? Yeah, number yeah. three. Okay. My dad drives a red car. My dad drives the letter a S car. drives a red oh. car. Lisa Montoya, number four, please. Um, uh, we don't walk to school. We don't walk to school. Very good. Thank you. And Wendy Ileana, number five. Wendy, Ileana, are you there? The beauty for books. Uh huh. Does not stop here. The thirty-four bus doesn't stop or does not stop here. Very good. Let me see, Maria Luz, the nieto, number six. Yes, Mr. Brown teaches much. Teaches oh, math. math. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Sergio, number seven. The children plays football. Okay. Is that right, guys? The children play? Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. In this este case, in this case, children, aunque ya sabemos que significa niño, Children es plural. Es plural. Sí. Children. Entonces, desde el momento que es plural, lo tomamos mm -hmm. como they. Por lo tanto, no podemos agregarle S, porque no estamos hablando de tercera persona. Ah, so, okay. we, so we say okay. that children play football. Porque only play? Play. Only play without modifying the verb. Not modifying the verb. Why? Because okay. children is plural. It's, okay. It's el plural de child. Okay. Child, mm -hmm. children. Okay. And the last one, let me see. Thank you. Mr. No. Miss Fran Francesca. The last one. Mary uh, wash the. Dishes after lunch. Is that okay? The other ones, is that okay what she said? Watches. Wash. Okay. Mary washes, washes the dishes after lunch. Okay, guys. Um, this is pretty much it for today. Once again, it was it's a pleasure for me to be with you. See you tomorrow, and I will send you the slide through the WhatsApp group so every one of you can have it, okay? Okay. So, thank you so much for okay. coming to the class and see you tomorrow at the same time, okay? You're not? No estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Did, uh, didn't they send you an email? Mm. Enviaron un correo. Tomorrow. Uh, bueno, lo voy a buscar entonces. In the sí, email, en el correo, you have the link. Mm -hmm. en el uh -huh. correo está la invitación al grupo. Ah, bueno, gracias. Exactly. So thank you so much, guys, and have a good night, okay? Bye.
Good night. 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 Good night.